Hey, I'm Brian, and in my LG G6 video, which you can find up there, I said that the software on the LG G6 isn't inherently that bad if you tweak it a little to make it look more like stock Android. So I figured that maybe some people would be interested in how to make your Galaxy S8 or LG G6 look just like stock Android. So let's start with the LG G6. I'm just going to say it out of the box, the software on this phone is pretty horrendous, so let's make it closer to stock Android. First of all, in the settings, you're going to click three dots up there and click list view so you can actually find stuff in the settings and it's arranged like it should be. Then we're going to go to the Play Store and install a stock Android theme. It's called Pixel UX. This app is unfortunately paid. It costs about $1.50. But if you have an app like Google Opinion Rewards, it's pretty easy to obtain that kind of money with just answering a little surveys. I would recommend this app. Then after you've installed that, you can head into settings, scroll down into theme, click on Pixel UX and hit apply. So when we're here on the home screen, you can see that it's already a little better, but it's not that great yet. In the settings though, it already looks just like stock Android with all of the icons. So now we are going to head to the Play Store again and obviously install Nova Launcher to also make the home screen look like stock. I'm also going to grab Nova Launcher Prime because I've bought that, but you don't have to install it. It just has some more features, but you don't really need them to make your phone look like stock. And that already looks pretty usable. I'm going to just remove this female widget here and head into Nova settings and select the pixel style and also select the pixel logo and hit persistent search bar. And then we're going to remove this widget. And now we have the pixel search up there. And now we're going to head into Google Chrome and I'm going to put this link in the video description. This is the Nova Google companion. So you can have the Google Now page to the left of your home screens, just like on the pixel with Nova Launcher. We're going to hit download, it's going to download. And now to the left of your home screen, you will have the Google Now panel, just like on the Pixel. So you can see that this already looks pretty usable, but we're just going to do some more things. Obviously the keyboard isn't that great, the stock LG one. With the theme, it looks a little better and a little more close to stock, but we're going to head to the Play Store again, and we're going to grab Google's keyboard. And we are also going to grab the stock Pixel wallpaper app. And now in the app drawer, we will hopefully find the Gboard app. And we're going to click through this. There you have your normal Google keyboard, just as it would be on any stock Android phone. Now we're going to hit wallpapers, go to apps and themes and select the wallpaper app we just downloaded. And then you can select Earth. That is usually what Google uses as their stock wallpapers. And then you'll have a daily wallpaper that looks just like on the Pixel. And this already looks pretty close to stock Android. Now, one thing I will also recommend is heading back to the Play Store, and that's an app called Nav Bar Apps. What it will do is color your navigation bar according to the app. Let's head to the Settings app, for example. And as you can see, it colors the navigation bar according to the app color which just makes it look a little more material. So as you can see, I've just applied my normal theme that I use with the backup feature of Nova Launcher. And if I now go into settings, you can see that it looks a lot better than the stock LG version. And also when I drag down from here, the notification bar, everything just looks a lot more material design and a lot better. Now on the Galaxy S8, the process is actually pretty similar. So at first, we are going to head into the settings. We are going to head into wallpapers and themes. There's a theme called Pixel, and you can apply that if you've downloaded it. This is free, not paid, like on the LG G6. So now we already have the Pixel icons again. This up here looks a little more stock, and the settings menu looks a little more stock too. Now, we're going to change the buttons down here because they don't look like stock already, like on the LG G6. So you're going to head into your browser. I'm going to put this link in the video description. You're going to hit the first download link. Yes, allow, install, hit done. And then you'll need to restart your phone. So I'm quickly going to do that. So after it's rebooted, you can see that we now have the standard pixel buttons down here. Looks just like on the Google Pixel. And of course, we're going to install Nova Launcher, the wallpaper app, 
and Gboard, just like on the G6. So let me quickly do that. You know how to do it. It's just the same as under the G6. Let's go through that. So with my handy editing trick applied again, you can see that it looks a lot closer to stock, especially with the buttons down here, the launcher, and the theme. So now with just a little bit of trickery, we turned this interface into this interface. As always, I hope you liked this video and maybe it helped you out a little bit and made your phone a little more usable. As always, if you liked this video, press the recording button down under it and get subscribed to the channel for more content like this. I will also encourage you to click follow on Twitter because I'm very active there. With that, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.